We are getting ready to spend the next two weeks talking a little bit about insects and hopefully by the end of it you will be able to be able to tell the difference between an insect and possibly a spider or an insect and a worm um, and other different creatures that God has created that aren't necessarily classified as insects. This is a book called Bugs and it is a know-it-all book that gives us information so it's a great piece of uh, literature that teaches us something new. So it is written by Christopher Nicholas and illustrated by Mike Maydak and it's called Know It All About Bugs. They walk, they crawl, they swim and fly all over the world. There are more of them than any other kind of animal on earth. What are they? What do you think they are? You probably call them bugs, but scientists call them insects. What makes an insect an insect? For one thing, it has a very special body. All insects have a hard shell on the outside called an exoskeleton. The shell protects the little insects just like metal armor protects a knight. So think about your skeleton. You have a skeleton on the inside of your body and it is a very, very hard shell. It's like what you would consider a bone. Well, an insect has its hard shell on the outside of its body and it's called an exoskeleton. An insect's body also has three parts. That is the most important thing I want you to remember today is that insects have three parts. It has a head, a head, a middle section called a thorax, and an abdomen. These three parts are easy to see on one insect that everyone knows, an ant. So if you look carefully, you can see that there are three body parts. Remember, they are the head, which obviously is very easy to spot because it's where the eyes are on this ant. There's a middle section right here in the middle called a thorax. And then there is the last section called an abdomen. So three parts. People like you and I have two legs. Dogs and cats have four legs, but insects have six legs. That's the other thing that I would like for you to remember about insects. So they have three parts and they have six legs. Go ahead, count them. But not all insect legs are the same. Some legs are good for jumping far and others are perfect for climbing, grabbing, running, or swimming. Most insects have two or four wings. And just like legs, there are different kinds of wings. The dragonfly's big wings are perfect for flying fast and making quick turns in midair. But down here, if you look at the beetle's wings, they are a little bit different. One pair is thick and leathery to protect the second pair of wings that are delicate and made for flight. So if you look on this page, you can see the different types of legs. The grasshopper has these really big, long hind legs that are a little bit different from the four legs that are closer to the front or the head of the body. And we know that grasshoppers love to jump, so they need those jumping legs in the back to help give them lots and lots of strength to be able to push off of things and go far distances. One thing I want you to notice right here is that it says spiders have eight legs. So they are not insects. Spiders are not insects. If you were to ask a scientist, they would say that spiders are called arachnids and that is because they have eight legs and they are not the same as insects. As you can see, bugs are a lot different from you and me. And speaking of seeing, did you know that insects have two different types of eyes? An insect's simple eyes can only see and sense light. 
they also have a larger compound eye that can see objects and animals and their environments. What is sticking out of that bug's head? There are feelers or antennae and all insects have two of them. They help insects touch, taste, and smell the world around them. So we have learned a few things about an insect's body. We've learned that they have three body parts. They have the outer shell called the exoskeleton. They have six legs and they usually have two or four wings. And sometimes they have simple and compound eyes as well as the two antennae that help them feel, touch, taste, and smell. Where do insects live? Well, we know that insects live everywhere. They fly through the air and walk on the ground. They dig in the dirt and hide under rocks. They climb through the trees and swim in the water. And sometimes insects even live in our homes. It says some insects like the flea make themselves at home on animals. Here are some pictures of different insects that you probably could see around your home. There are bees and milkweed bugs and beautiful butterflies. You can see that there are flies 